Hello, welcome. So we decided to make a playlist for typography and color. That's for Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. So today we are going to learn the basic principles necessary for making a basic dynamic responsive typography. My name is Manuel from Kata Studio. So we'll be starting up with Photoshop, then we head over to Adobe Illustrator. So to create a simple text in Photoshop, all you need to do is to hit on the typography uh, uh, widget or element. You can get that if it is hidden, you can get that from this edge. So next thing we do is hit on any part of the layout. So we created a new layout, just hit on a new part of the layout, then you can start typing. Why we can't see this is because the text practically is on a black color. So to remove that, we just need to click on the color uh, box or rectangle and we switch that color to white. Automatically, as you can see, the color has been switched and we now have a white color. So this is the first step. Select the text, click on any part and you can hit on any angle or any area of this. Then you can select all text then you can paste your own text if you want to now see the problem we are having here this is not responsive and not gonna be responsive what you need to do over time or on this particular text if they are longer than this is you can adjust one to the edge like so and um, you can select this part and you collapse this the other way but you see how stressful this is becoming you are going to do this over and over again till you come up with the particular layout styling you uh, actually want to achieve. So like we have from here, we now have the elements uh, already packed like so. So if for instance, we want the button to come to this other edge, all we need to do is come back to the button area. We click on that area and we collapse that. Then we have to go back to the edge and collapse this then, you know, that's a lot of stress and that's a lot of stuff to pass through as we can see we don't have this very well responsive at all these edges one other thing you may like to do is the adjustment of the layout okay we call this the flex box in website design but in uh in photoshop and illustrator that could be called alignment so the alignment to select the alignment you can't find the alignment anywhere here all you need to do is to select the text again before you edit or modify a property of a text or any other element you must have to select the element that actually propagated that particular uh, element you are trying to make modifications to i hope you get that very clearly so for us to modify the text place the alignment we are going to find the alignment as one of the properties of the typography so we're going to click on the text again then from here just watch what happens when we don't click the text typography you see this space is just empty we can't find the element to actually adjust what we want to do so to actually achieve that we click on the typography now you can see the element to adjust your typography layout so we can click this to left align element left aligning the element means we want to push everything to the left just see what happens all elements from here are adjusted to the left don't mind what's going on here there is a little bit of padding from there so all elements are pushed to the edge from the left it's talking about the edge okay we can still select all elements click on the typography again and we click on the right alignment every element will be pushed to the right angle and we have this extra Spaces. and we can say center align center align means we want everything to be in the middle or to be justified i hope you get that point clearly so this is the basic things which you need to understand about typography the next thing i want to tell you about, about typography is when we select on a text element you can see this box okay this box have a lot of information inside of it which you can use to actually modify stuff here you can change the general color maybe you want to change the whole color of this typography as you can see we have other colors involved in this particular typography which actually include the lemon green but now when we click on this box i, I was talking about okay we are going to see this drop down or this particular information or other information from here in this particular layout we could adjust the line height look at the text what happened when we are adjusting the line height so we're increasing the line height just imagine what happens over here we don't get that propagated because of my ram okay so we select that again so we adjust the line height okay you see what's going on it's adjusting the line height is placing the line 
of each of it's placing the line between each of the line of this text segment you get a point now the next thing is the uh text spacing text spacing means you want to space each text from the other not word spacing word spacing is not text spacing okay so that is text spacing that's the way you can space your text or collapse the text as you can see so what makes typography look very nice is in most cases you collapse it too much or you space it too much i don't have a specific advice for typography spacing because the size of a text determines the space that will be well adjusted for it okay like the text we see here is very bold it's not the same spacing you use for the text here you use here okay because this is bold it needs a little more breathing space this is tiny it needs a little a, a little breathing space than this need because this text are larger than the text below here so that is it for that particular one we can actually increase the height and we can actually increase the size of the typography this is the size overall size of the text itself okay and you can change the text from here okay and you can change the text format from here the bold italic and whatever though if you don't want to do that from here you can also do your text variations from this particular angle at the top left side of the header so that is it about the static nature of typography so now we are going to go into the dynamic responsive text uh, type so we're going to learn how to create a dynamic text type so what we need to do is not clicking it's not just clicking on the text element or typography element and clicking on an edge like we did before no what we need to do now is we click on the typography text and we drag along drag along the area we want this particular element to cover or the text to cover so we drag along and we leave it so now we drag along and leave it it have already created a text for us so we can see that by changing the color of the text like we did in the first time and we have what we have from here you get the point so now we can select everything and replace with our own text and that is it so you can further adjust the size of the text now look what happened when we increase the size of the text when we increase the size of the text, let's select everything. Make sure whenever you want to apply, change the property of a text, make sure you click on the text, Control A. Click on Control A to select all text or click from here and drag all along the text, okay? When you do that, we can now adjust the properties. Now, we want to increase the size of this text as one of the properties. As we are increasing it, you can see that the, the height of the text is collapsing together. In this case, we might need to adjust the line a little more. This is why I told you that the size of a text affects its, its function proportionally. Okay, So we can adjust the, the height of the text and this is okay for all we want. But nobody is going to use this particular size of text for uh, this particular layout. Okay, So now, as we increase the size of the text, the problem we are going to notice here is that we actually lost... We actually lost uh we're actually gonna lost some lose some parts of this text let's increase we lost some part of this text as you can see from there as we are increasing we lost some part of the text so now to actually retrieve those parts that we are lost all you need to do is to expand this edge watch what happens when you select on the selection tool and you want to expand it increases the size of the text but when you select on the typography element and you select on this particular inside of the text and you try to adjust this it increases the size of the area the text accommodates i hope you get the difference this enables us if you just reduce this you are simply telling it don't show the other elements at the other part so sometimes you might have a larger text size but you are not seeing the other part of your text maybe something like this you're not seeing this other part all you need to do is to click on the typography select on the text and adjust your text that's number one trick number two trick is let's first of all select everything and adjust the line height okay the line height also can affect this Okay, so fine so now we have this we can one other thing we can do is to adjust this text and they are going to respond accordingly but before they respond we need to adjust this so that it can have more space to accommodate another paragraph okay so what i mean is this when we are trying to adjust this part the text will automatically be adjusting to the below part which is totally different from what we have before this is the responsive nature of typography i'm talking about so the more you expand it the more space is going to accommodate or the less space is going to accommodate from here 
okay but the less you actually contrast it the more space you will need to create for it to adjust to i hope you get that very clearly so this is what the responsive format for typography all you need to do is to select on the text drag on the area you want to actually place your text then control v paste your text select your text and reduce or increase the size according to what you want then the next thing you need to do you can select your text format and uh, the next thing you need to do is to make sure you are in an adjusted area so that all your content will show then you can further adjust this area to the particular size you want if you want you can still reduce your text size further depending on just what you want why i love this particular format it's more responsive than the first uh, value we used so we can also do this in illustrator the same thing applies select on it and drag along the path you want but the difference here is as you can see the text typography is too bold so we're going to adjust this manually p-o-p-p -P -P, i love poppins so we select the poppin size we want basically i would like us to use this and the size we want to go with is just nine or we can go with ten let's just go with nine fine so we want to center align it from here and we center the line that the line height is okay for what it is but if you want to do further adjustment you can click on properties you can see the typography from here instead of properties but before you get to that you may need to click on this and select essential okay click on this select essential essential is where you can get all of these features in handy so you don't need to start going into windows and finding typography uh before properties before you can find it okay so now we have this what you need to do is to click on the three dots at this particular age see these three dots here so click on that three dots okay it can expand some further information like the one we have in that one but more okay so here you can do further adjustment than the, just a few of the information we have from here but if all you need is just from here like expanding the text width from this angle we can expand the text width to whatever size we want like also expanding the text height okay all of this if the if this is just okay for what you want it then it is just cool but if you need more granular control you can do that from this particular angle okay furthermore i think uh, the typography for illustrator have more functions it's still available in photoshop if you go with the advanced uh, value for editing or modifying a text property so in typography in this one we have what we call justify okay justify is the totally different format for typography let me show you what justify does let's adjust this and also adjust this okay so when we click on justify it stretches all image uh, text content to the edge until the last one as you can see it stretches all area but the problem i'm having with justify is that it creates a lot of space in areas which i don't need too much space as you can see from here the space we have here is totally different from the space we have here okay you see the space size we have here and the space size we have here so it's trying to actually adjust those elements too much and that doesn't make much sense in typography as long as i'm concerned okay that's not very nice for typography as long as i'm concerned we also have justify all in line what this means is it wouldn't create any space at the bottom part everything we have to expand in css we call this uh i think we call this uh flex box this is uh, okay this is function of the css grid okay it actually stretches everything to the edge to make sure there is no space or there is no window or uh uh often at often text at the bottom part a widow or often text simply means let me show you what that is a widow or often text simply means a text that is standing alone on its own like for instance as we have this text here it's called a widow text or an often text a widow text is not supposed to be present in your typography styling so to avoid widow text all you need to do is select on all elements you can adjust the size of the text a little more just one more to actually collapse that to the other one or increase it a little more to actually add more to that particular widow or often text so guys if you have extra question about the typography you can leave it in the comment section below but this is our first typography tutorial we'll be coming out with more typography tutorials so put an eye on the typography uh typography playlist okay i'll be providing the link below this particular uh video put an eye there so we'll be putting up weekly typography and color grading uh tutorial basic ones for beginners okay 
if you have not subscribed to the channel make sure to do that ring the notification bell so you get notification every time we put up new tutorials like this once again my name is monary from kata studios do have a wonderful day